between the visiting Royalton Royals and your Howard Lake Waverly Winstead Lakers. My name is Dan Herta. Fields clearing out as we introduce parents for parents night before the game. We'll get you starting lineups coming with the national anthem coming soon. Starters offensively for both Brady sides. Brown. A senior running back, number two, Zachary guard, Ellerbush. Blake Wanhata. A junior quarterback, number seven, Drew Yerschek. At tackle, number 50, Jackson, Jackson Pisick. A junior receiver, number 21, tackle, number Jameson Clue. Jake Anderson. A junior running back, number 22, receiver, Connor number 21, Carlson. A junior running back, number, number 23, Gabe Colton Gorky. Hinderscheid. A senior two. receiver, number 33, Gabe Gorchi. At fullback, number 23, Colton Hinderscheid. A junior offensive lineman, number, number 50, Jackson Carlson. Sick. Senior offensive lineman, number 55, Brady Brown. A senior offensive lineman, number 57, Jake Anderson. A senior offensive lineman, number 58, Blake Wanhala. And a junior offensive lineman, number 59, Nathan Wagner. Now starting for your Howard Lake, Waverly, Winstead, Lakers. A junior quarterback, number three, Mitchell Malik. A senior receiver, number five, Brandon Katura. A junior wide receiver, number 18, Lance Luxinger. A junior running back, number 32, Colin Bose. 
a senior receiver, Drew Baru. Sophomore running back, number 42, Colton Long. Junior offensive lineman, number 50, Jack Stutzman. Junior offensive lineman, number 65, Cole Gilbert. Junior offensive lineman, Aiden Debner. And a freshman offensive line, number 73, Leo Dusky. And a junior offensive lineman, number 74, Jacob Dusky. Those are your offensive starters for both sides tonight. And like I said earlier, uh, I expect the Lakers to have their hands full. The Royalton Royals step into the night with a 2-0 record. And in both games that they played so far this year, they have pitched uh, scoreless games. The first game for the Royalton Royals was a 46-0 win against Minnewaska. Game number two for the Royals was a 22 to nothing game against Holdingford. So they step into tonight's game without giving up any points so far defensively. One thing, uh, Kia, that I uh, would like to see as, a, as just a fan here for the Lakers, I would like to see their um, passing game improve. Now I wasn't able to see the second game and I know uh, they did improve from the first game um, in the passing game, but that's something that I think that is key for the Lakers, balance both the pass and the run. Here's the opening kickoff, and dropped by Bose, picks up about well, the 18-yard line. He goes to his left, finds a hole up the middle. He's up to the 30, past the 30. Might have got all the way up to the 32-yard line. Nice recovery by Colin Bose. After he dropped it, picking it up, finding a hole, and getting up to the 32-yard line. Lakers break huddle here very quickly. Eye formation. Malik takes a snap, hand off to Bowes up the middle. Oh, he got Matt right away, stood up. Offensive line needs a little bit more of a push there. Our offensive lineman got stood up and Bose had nowhere to go there. Loss of one. Call it second 11 from the 31 yard line here from the, for the Lakers. Malik getting the play from the sideline, hustling into the, to the huddle. High formation again. Snap, handoff up the middle to Long. He's gonna put his head down, he's gonna fall forward. Got a couple yards there. It's gonna bring up third down and long. Roughly third and eight, three and eight, third down and eight, sorry. Royalton looks to be in a four man front defensively. Lakers break the huddle. They come out in the shotgun formation. They got three receivers out to the left, one to the right. Snap, handoff to Bowes. No, it's a play action. He keeps it, Malik keeps it up the middle. He's gonna be short of the first down. Getting to about the 39 yard line. It's a bring up fourth down. Be about fourth and third. Punt team comes out. Long back to punt. Royalton have two guys back on the return. Punts away. Nice high kick from Long. Caught going to the right side and brought down. Nice tackle by the Lakers. Stutzman gets the tackle. Nice open field tackle by Stutzman. Royals will start from the 30 yard line. Royalton up to the line quickly. 
receiver on each, to each side of the quarterback. Eye formation from the Royals. There's a snap of the ball. Goes to the first guy through the line and he's gonna get a short gain here. Maybe about a half a yard. Give him a yard. He's second down and nine. Interested, interested to see what the Lakers do defensively if they're going to be changing up their defensive front. Looks like right now they're in a four-man front playing kind of a 4-4, four, 4-3 four, four, defense. we got a little motion to the left. Hand off to the motion guy coming on the left side. Trying to break outside. And he's wrapped up. He's tackled. Brought down. That's going to be a loss. He's stopped by 33, Drew, Baru. Drew Baru with the tackle. Nice contain there from the Lakers defense. Brings up third down and 10 here for the Royalton Royals. Nice contain by Drew Baru on that right defensive end side. Containing that little counter play they had with the motion coming. Three receivers to the right. Royalton dropped back to pass. He got has an open receiver caught. That's going to be enough for a first down. Up to the 45. Still on his feet. Finally brought down. He gets to about the 46-yard line. Nice play for Morelton. Had three receivers out to the right side. Looks like Royalton ran a little sit route where the receiver just ran straight. About five, ten yards, stop, turn, got the ball and turn and went up field for the first down. Brings up first and ten here from the 47. Three receivers to the right, one to the left of the quarterback. Snaps the ball, he's motioning to his left and he's going to be dropped. A little bit of a gain there. Kind of looked like they're trying to keep maybe play and the play was maybe an option there. But the quarterback did keep it and fell forward for about a two-yard gain. Colton Long with the tackle. That's going to bring up second down and eight for Royalton. Royals break the huddle. I formation again coming here. Snap. Handed to the second running back. Find, trying to find a hole. Stood up and dropped. Might have been right at the line of scrimmage. Nice job, nice team tackle. Somebody held him up, another guy brought him down. Brings up a third and long here, third and eight. Big defensive stand coming here for your Lakers. Ball's at midfield here. Just over seven minutes remaining in the first quarter. Lakers with a four-man front on defense. Three receivers to the right. Quarterback rolls to his right. He fires to the right. Has a guy short of the first down, and there's a field. Oh, he dove. Did he get enough to get the first? No, they're, well, let's see where the ref places it. No, they're short, short of the first down. Ref marks him just short. Fourth and short coming up here for the Royals. Nice effort by the receiver. Made a nice dive after the catch. I thought maybe he, he was closer, but Lakers forced him out of bounds to be just short of the first down. See what the Royals do coming out on fourth down. They're going for it. I formation. Receiver on each side to each side of the quarterback. Snap, handoff, and he's kind of the backfield. That's going to be hit, dropped for a loss. That's going to be a turnover, loss of downs. Lakers will take over possession. At about the 45 yard line. Big stop, big stand by the Lakers defense. No room there for the running back as he got it. And he was basically wrapped up as soon as he got the handoff. First and 10 for the Lakers from the 45. I formation, Malik with a snap, handoff to the first. Nope, that's a keeper. Faked long, Malik kept it. 
going to fall forward here for about two yard, two yard gain for Malik. Second down and eight. Malik and Bowes both coming to the sideline to get the play on offense from Coach Anderson. High formation, receiver to each side of Malik. Snap, fakes the handoff. He's Looking to pass, fired and tipped up in the air. Live ball, that's live, who's got it? Did somebody pull it in? Looks like, looks like Long for Howard Lake. Pulled it in, that's gonna be a short gain. Short gain for the Lakers. Luckily, Colton Long was able to pull, pull in that tipped pass from Malik. It's gonna be about a third and six here coming for the Lakers. Nice defensive play by Royalton there, getting their hands up and deflecting that pass and tipping it and floating up in the air. Nice job by Long to pull it in. Shotgun formation, running back to each side for Malik. Receivers, two receivers to the right, one to the left. We have, a, I think we have a false start coming here on the Lakers. Somebody was moving a little bit. That's gonna false start on the Lakers. Bring them back about five yards. Can't shoot ourselves in the foot like that. Third and six, now it's third and 11. Just under five minutes remaining here in the first quarter. Shotgun formation, two receivers right, two receivers left. Malik takes a snap, he rolls a little bit to his right, he's looking to pass downfield. There's a fires down the sideline and oh way, out of bounds. Looking for Luxenzinger on the right, Luxenzinger on the right side. Malik's gotta get a little bit under control, get his feet underneath him to make that throw. Lakers left the punt here with a, on fourth and 11. Colton Long back to punt. Royalton have two guys back. Snap, kicks away. Up down the middle. Oh, slip and brought down. Vanderdeen with the return for Royalton. Kane coming from a linebacker spot, breaking through the line, getting the running back down for a loss. Second and 14 from 24, motion. Play action, roll to the right, finds a receiver going to the right, a little sidestep. Nice little play by Roy Royalton. Trying a little misdirection. Had a guy coming in motion, going to the left and then rolled to the right and hit a receiver to the, on the right sideline. Royalton comes out, three receivers to the left, one to the right. Drops back the pass. He's looking, he's got time, finally pressured. He finds a guy. That's gonna be, that's gonna be enough for a first down. Carlson with the re reception, enough for a first down. 
Nice job by uh, Royalton's offensive line to give the quarterback some time. Able to set up and make a nice, strong throw to Carlson. Brings up a first and 10 from the 41 with 3.30 left in the first quarter. All right, formation set for Royalton. Snap, drop back. He's looking for pass. He's looking deep. Throws it up to the right side. Receiver's got a step. Oh, and gets tipped away. Luxinger with a nice defensive play, tipping the ball away from the receiver, Royalton receiver. Royalton did a nice job making an attempt to go deep. Receiver had a step on the corner, just a little bit underthrown. Your check breaks the huddle. Single back this time. Three receivers right, one left. Here's a little looking for a counter. He's got room. He's got room coming here. Open field breaks another tackle down to the left side. Sneaks inside. He's going to be finally brought down at about the 40-yard line. Nice little counter play there by the Royals. Royals were able to beat the contain, and the runner had some room. Nice play by Royalton. A little counter guy set on the right side, comes to the left, gets the handoff. Had the defense kind of flowing away from where the runner was going. Eye formation here for Royalton, snap. Looks like a hand, no, the quarterback is gonna keep it and he's gonna fall forward. He's got a couple, he's got two yards on that. Sounds like Dusky and Weger were on the tackle for the Lakers. Be a second down and eight for the Royals. Lakers come out in a five man front defensively. Here's a snap. Quarterback set back. Oh, there's some pressure. And oh, are they going to call that a fumble or incomplete pass? Yeah, the quarterback, I believe they're going to. They're gonna call that an incomplete pass. Let's see what the refs. Let's see what the refs call here. Some of the fans, people here, want intentional grounding. Being that yes, there's a flag. Intentional grounding will be the call. As the quarterback was wrapped up, tried to avoid the sack by just throwing it down. Maybe he didn't have a receiver in the vicinity of the pass either. So. That's going to be third and long here. Third and almost 20 coming for the Royals. 2.07 left here in the first quarter. Lakers are in that five-man front now defensively, trying to get a little pressure on the quarterback on the Royals here. Royals come out. Oh, delayed handoff to the second guy through. He's getting a nice, nice run on the left side. Too much there guys defensively we gotta stop we gotta stop him from getting that was almost a 10 yard gain there but it is gonna bring up fourth down fourth down and roughly 11 12 yards here see what those will do they didn't punt last last time on fourth down but this time it looks like they brought some guys in punt team in and Lakers are set setting up with Luxinger back to receive a punt Punt formation here for Royalton. Snap, rolling to the left. Now he's gonna punt it. Oh, shanked it a little bit. Yeah, he shanked it. Not a very good, strong punt from the Royalton Royals there. Gives the Lakers good, good field position to start. Lakers can get the ball at the 40 yard line. See if the Lakers can do something here with great starting field position, possession again. They come out in the I formation. Receiver to each side of Malik. 
takes a snap, pitches to the left. Bowes trying to go outside to the left. He gets outside, outside the tackle, cuts it inside. He's going to get close to nine yards there. Nice job by Colin Bowes. Nice job on that uh, left side tackle seal block there, getting Bowes broke on the left outside. Malik getting the call from the sideline. Second down and one from about the 49 yard line. Just over a minute left here in the first quarter. Lakers come out with a shotgun formation. Three receivers right, one left. Malik keeps it, looks down the middle. He's got Long breaking through. Down the middle, Malik hits Long for a nice gain and a Laker first down. Nice play, Malik with a little fake hand off to Bowes. And then he finds Long in the middle of the field for a nice long gain. Gives the Lakers a first and 10 from the 33 yard line. Under a minute left here in the first quarter. High formation coming from the Lakers. Long and Bowes in the backfield. Malik takes a snap, hand off the Long, first guy through. He puts his head down, trying to get, he might've got two or three there. Give him three yards. Looks like that'll be how the first quarter will come to an end. We have a nothing, nothing ball game, but the Lakers are driving here. Flip the field here. Lakers will take the ball, go down the other end. Lakers will have a second and seven from the 30. Putting a real nice, real nice drive here together. Mixing in the run and the pass. Something I'm glad to see. Didn't see that much in the first game. Second game, the, La the Lakers did bring a little bit more of the pass game. but it's looking pretty tonight for the Lakers, mixing the run and the pass. At halftime here, I'm going to bring or give you the weekly activity schedule for the Lakers, give you all the sporting events coming up for the week. And then also we have an announcement for the 2021 homecoming court. I'll announce that at halftime. But the Lakers here are driving. They're going to be at the 30 yard line, at second and seven to start the second quarter. Lakers come right from the sideline. Set up in the play, I formation. Malik under center, takes a snap. Hand off to Bozel, he's looking to break to the right side. He gets outside, he's gonna get a first down and a little more. Nice job by Bose getting outside. That offensive line must be doing a nice job, especially those tackles, being able to seal that defensive end and giving the Bose the outside run. That's going to be first down and 10 from the 20 yard line. Mallet comes out in the shotgun formation. Two receivers each side. Long in the backfield. Hand off to Long up the middle. He's going to get it. He falls forward for about three yards, two, three yards. Call it second and seven from the 27. Lakers come out in the I formation. Receiver to each side of Malik. Takes a snap, pitches it to the left of Bose. Bose trying to get outside. Nice job, Long. Making a nice, nice block by Long. I don't know if you guys could see that, but Long picked up two guys there. 
Nice job by Long, the fullback, making a nice little block for Bose. That brings up third and five here for your Lakers. Lakers at about the 14 yard line. This might be the field position where if you don't get it on third down, it's close enough, you'll be going for it on fourth down, would be my guess. Lakers come out with the eye formation, receiver to each side. Long and Bowes in the backfield. Malik under center, takes a snap. Hand off to Bowes, he's got a hole on the right side. Is he gonna fall forward enough for the first? That's gonna be close, we'll see what the refs, what the refs are gonna call here. They're gonna call a little bit, little bit short of the first down. About a half yard, half a yard short, that's gonna bring fourth and short. You know the Lakers will be going for it now here. Big stand here. Lakers come out in a shotgun on fourth and short. Let's see, I think it's gonna be Malik with the keeper. They're trying, I don't know if I like that play call. I don't know. Fourth and short, you, let's see what they call. They're stopping the clock. Refs are gonna take a look and they're gonna give it to him. Oof. I don't know if I like that shotgun formation on a fourth and short. You're already certain getting the snap a little bit deep, but Malik was able to put his head down and fall forward for the first down. That'll be a first and 10 from inside the 10, call it the nine yard line. First and goal for the Lakers. Keep this drive going, boys, let's go. Malik in the shotgun formation, bows deep. They got two, two receivers to the right. Hand off. Oh, play action, Malik with the pick. We got a flag coming. Malik on the right side, he's gonna go in, but there is a flag on the play. We'll see what the call is. I'm, I'm thinking a uh, holding play or holding call is going to be called on one of the linemen on the left side here. Looks like they're pointing the Lakers' way, so looks like that's going to take away the six points here. Hold on the Lakers, nullifies the touchdown. Dropping back five yards. Puts him at about the 14 yard line. First and goal from the 14. Tough play when you got a hold on an offensive lineman on the left side and the play's going to the right. Royalton staying with a four man front defensively it looks. Oh, what's going on here now? 10 yard loss, sorry. I don't know what the rest were doing here. So it's first and goal from now the 22 yard line. Shotgun formation, three receivers to the right, one to the left of Malik, running back, play action. He's looking down the middle, he fires. Oh, overthrows Long. Long had a step on his defender. Malik just misses. Just misses Long down the middle, working down the middle of the field. That's gonna bring up second down and Long here from the 22. It's a second and goal, actually. You can, they can, Lakers cannot get a first down. Bowes and Malik bringing in the play offensively to the Lakers huddle. Second down, 22 from roughly, well, the 22 yard line because it's because it's second and goal. Shotgun formation, three receivers right. Malik keeps it, he's trying to go up the middle. Got a couple. Fake hand off to Bowes, trying to go right and Malik keeps it, puts his head down, goes up the middle. Get about three or four yards there. Third and goal from the 19 yard line for the Lakers. You think Royalton would have to be in a kind of a, expecting the pass coming from the Lakers being third and long, third and goal from the 18 yard line. Lakers in shotgun formation, three receivers right, one left, Bowes in the backfield with Malik. 
Hand off to Bowles, trying to go to the right side. Oh, he breaks, gets outside, trying to cut it to the right sideline, and he is brought down. He's going to be short of the goal line. Might be inside the five. We call it four yard line. So that's going to be fourth and goal from the four. Nice run by Bowes, breaking to the outside. That offensive line is doing a really nice job blocking, letting Bowes get outside of that of those defensive ends or whoever is the contain on the Royalton Royals defense. High formation coming from the Lakers. Malik under center. We got a whistle. Looks like a timeout Lakers. Timeout Lakers. So with fourth down and goal from the four yard line with 741 left in the first half, the Lakers burned their first timeout in this nothing nothing ball game. Got a big down coming. Got a big down coming here for the Lakers. Fourth and goal from the four yard line. Really want to punch it in after having a nice drive. And already putting six on the board, but that was nullified by a hold. Coach Anderson burns the timeout. He wants to set something up here offensively for the Lakers. Lakers come out, shotgun formation, Bows in the backfield, three receivers to the left, Malik, hand off to, no, he fakes it to Bows, and he's trying to get across the goal line, that's going to be in, touchdown, Mitch Malik, putting six on the board for your Howard Lake, Waverly, Winstead, Lakers. Now I'm interested to see what the Lakers will do, if they're going to go for two or if they're going to try the PAT after the touchdown here. It looks like they're setting up for the PAT. Coach Anderson did talk about that a little bit in that interview. Snap, hold down, kick is up, and that's going to be good. Nice job by the Lakers. Getting the extra point. Try to get you the... Uh, Field goal kicker. Lakers up 7 nothing. PAT comes by Caleb Bowes for the Lakers. Nice job by the Lakers. I believe that was their first PAT of the season. In the first game, I know they went for two. Second game, I'm not sure if they went for any extra point kicks or not. But the PAT is good, so the Lakers are up 7 nothing with 7.34 before half. setting up to kick off. Kicks away a little bit short to the left. Don't go out of ball. Ah, that's going to be a flag. Royalton's going to have great starting field position with that flag for the kick out of bounds. Is that going to put him at the 40 or 45? Oh, no, nope, might be the 35. I think the refs are discussing here where the where the ball is placed. 
Kick out of bounds on the Lakers. What's going on here? Are they going to make them re-kick? Royalton is going to make the Lakers re-kick. I'm not sure I get that one. Well, whatever happens here, the Lakers uh, get the re-kick. Oh, they backed, backed them up, I think, on the kickoff. Yes, they back, back up the Lakers now on the kickoff. Back them up 10 yards, so they got our five. So the re-kick coming from the 35 as Heber's going to set up for the Lakers on the kickoff. Get into a 20. Here we go. Kick pooched away. Line drive, kick out, and he is down. They're calling. Nice job. So that kind of backfired on the Royals and Royals, making them re-kick. Receiver is going to be down at about roughly the 24, 24 yard line. So Lakers will definitely take that. First and 10 coming from the Royals here. They come out with the I formation. Receiver to each side. Slot to the left. Snap. Hand off to the second guy at the middle. Oh, and he's dropped in the backfield. Nice hit and tackle. Got a whistle here. Oh, we have an injured player down. I didn't see who that tackle was made by, but one of the Lakers broke through the offensive line of Royalton and wrapped him up basically at the line line of scrimmage. Remember at halftime, I'm gonna give you um, some information with up upcoming weekly activity schedule for the Lakers. And also I'll announce the 2021 homecoming court for your Howard Lake Waverly Winstead Lakers. Fifth and sixth grade football players, please line up on the north. Eight, two minutes left in the quarter. Fifth and sixth grade football youth men. Lakers staying in that four man, come out with that four man front defensively. Two interior guys down, D ends up. Hand off going, breaking to the left side and he is drugged down. Short, oh we have a flag coming here. What's the flag gonna be? Drew Baru with the tackle. Refs discussing the flag. Personal fall on the Lakers, so that's, yeah. Looks like the refs are calling on the tackle, maybe one of the Lakers, um, one of the hands got up on the face mask of the running back for Royalton. So that's gonna give Royalton a first down. Put the ball at about the 40 yard line. First and 10 from the 40 with just over seven minutes left in the first half. Here's the snap. Oh, pitch. Nice job by the Lakers defense. Pursuing here. Oh, we got another flag coming. Pursued the Royals running back out of bounds after about a four, five yard gain. We'll see what the flag is. Lakers had some pressure there as the quarterback was pitching. He was getting wrapped up and brought down, but was able to, Royalton's quarterback was able to get rid of it. We got a holding call coming up against the Royals. Holding on the Royals. And a whistle coming here as Royalton coach was not happy with his team, so he burns a timeout. That's gonna bring up first and 15 for the Royals from the 30 from the 35 yard line. If I have time at half time I would also I'll try to go over the interview I had with Coach Anderson again. are 
down a timeout as Lakers burn one and Louisville has burned their first. We have just under seven. We have 6.57 left on the clock here in the first half. Lakers up seven to nothing. That last offensive drive was beautiful for the Lakers. Able to punch it in on fourth down. Royalton trying to come back and get on the board as well going into half. Lakers have three defensive linemen down. Now they brought blitz a linebacker long on the blitz. Flipped. Oh, nice catch by the receiver up the middle. That's going to be enough for a first down and more. Colton Long coming in on the blitz, but the Royals found the receiver down the middle. Nice catch. I believe that was Carlson with the catch down the middle of the field. Got to give credit to the Lakers, their defense. They were right there, but Carlson made a nice catch. Three receivers to the right for Royalton. Snap. Lakers trying to bring pressure. Here's a blitz. Quarterback throws it to the right and it misses the receiver looking to the right sideline. Incomplete pass. That's going to stop the clock with 6.14. That'll bring up second down and 10. Well, I'm pleasantly surprised with our Lakers defense bringing some pressure. Right at the snap of the ball, you saw one of the Lakers guys at the quarterback's feet. And then right before he set up to throw, there was somebody there to hit the quarterback as he released the ball. Royals, three receivers to the left. Here's the handoff. He's dropping straight back, looking to his left, looking for the quarterback, or running back, excuse me, going to the left. That ball's incomplete to Carlson. Third down and 10, 6.08 left in the first half. I do like that kind of uh, bunch set for uh, Royalton where they do have three receivers to, to one side. But now we'll see what happens here on third and 10. Royalton I formation, receiver to each side. Takes a snap. Hand off to the second guy through. That's because Carlson right up the middle. That's going to be fumble. Ball's on the ground. Who fell on it? We got whistle here. Refs got to dig for it. We got to fight. Keep fighting for it. That's going to be I'm waiting for the refs. What's the call? Point. Show me something. Anything? Looks like it's going to stay Royalton's ball. Royalton fell on it. But that's going to bring up fourth down. As he was just short of the first down. Well, no, that was like a couple yards short. A couple yards short. It looks like a fourth and two is coming from about the 35 yard line. Royalton with eye formation. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Snap. Quarterback option. Pitches it to the left outside Carlson, and he's going to get wrapped up, and he's short of the first. That's going to be Lakers taking over possession. Nice stop defensively by the Lakers. The Lakers ball on their own 35. Nice stand by the Lakers defense. Gives the Lakers first down and 10 from the 35 with 537 left here in the first half. See if the Lakers can put together a nice drive going into the half. Shotgun formation. Malik takes the handoff. Oh, is trying to go outside to the left, and he is wrapped up, and that's going to be a drop for a loss, a big loss of about six yards here. of seven. Second down and 17 from the, roughly the 28 yard line. Just over five minutes left in the first half. Both teams do have two timeouts remaining. 
Lakers come out with eye formation. Malik under center. And we're gonna have a false start now on the Lakers. We had motion on defense, but they were able to get back. Royalton was able to get back and get set. But offense, we shoot ourselves in the foot and we drop back another five yards. That's going to bring up first and 22 from the 23 yard line. Now, now Royalton can burn some timeouts if they have to, if the Lakers try to run and try to get good field possession if they get the ball back. Tough start here for the Lakers. Second 22 with 440 and counting on the clock. Malik in the shotgun. He's dropping straight back. A lot of pressure. He keeps it. He's going up the middle. He's got a little bit of room. He got a nice little gain of about eight or nine right there. There's some pressure from the line. I don't know if that was the play call by uh, having Malik keep the ball around the middle with a little delay. Or if he felt the pressure and put it down and ran with it. But that's going to bring up third down and 12 for the Lakers. Just over four minutes left in the first half. Royalton staying in that four-man front defensively. It's kind of a 4-3 four, four, for the Royals. Here's a snap, Malik in the shotgun. Rolls a little bit, fires down the middle, no. That's gonna stop the clock. That's gonna bring up fourth down. Lakers gonna have to bring out their punt team. Here's a fourth down for the Lakers. Lakers gonna have to bring out the punt team on fourth and 12 from the 33. So the Royals didn't even have to burn a timeout there. So they'll have, should have pretty good field possession with two timeouts remaining with 3.46 on the clock. Long with the punt. Line drive down the middle. That's gonna, tip. he touched it. He's gotta pick it up. Oh, he gets, oh! Breaks the tackle, goes to the left side. He's gonna pick up, nice gain by the Royalton runner there. Nice job breaking that tackle. Lakers should have had him as soon as the, he, he got it, but nice job by Royalton to just shed that tackle and pick up some nice positive yards. So the Royalton takes over possession. First and 10 from the 37 yard line with three minutes, 31 seconds left and two timeouts remaining. They come out. Royalton comes out in a single back set. Snap, hand off to the first guy through. That's too much on the first down. Got about five yards there. Carlson with the carry. Bowes makes the tackle for the Lakers. They'll bring up second down and five from the 42. Just over three minutes remaining here in the first half. Royalton trying to hurry up a little bit with the clock rolling. Eye formation set for the Royals. Snap. Quarterback with the keeper fake. He goes to the right. That's going to be close. Close to a first down for Royalton. Stop the clock. We'll have to see here if they give them. See where the mark is for the. That's enough for a first first down. That's first down for Royalton. Now the clock's. Clock starts after the refs put it down. Royalton hustling up to the line. Eye formation again coming. Receiver to each side. Snap of the ball. Looking for the up back. He's hitting the backfield. That's going to be a short little gain. Might have got a half yard. Well, sounds like Isaac Kane made the tackle here for the Lakers. Might have got a half yard. Second down and we'll call it one. So second down and nine with 220 and counting with Royalton having two timeouts left to burn. Surprised Royalton's not going a little bit quicker here being down seven with only two minutes remaining. Just over two minutes remaining in the first half. Snap of the ball, there's a handoff. Brought down and there's a flag. Nice job, it looks like Colt Long with the tackle in the backfield but we do have a flag on the play. Will be a loss of about two. And we got a hole coming here against the Royals.
So back up Royalton, about 10 yards here on the hold. That's gonna be second down and long here. Second down and call it about 22. Two receivers left, one receiver to the right. Three receivers to the left, sorry. Here's a snap, drop back, he's looking to throw, looking to the left, picked up! Oh! oh! I thought the Lakers had that one. Weger stepped in front of that. Carlson was the tended receiver from the, for the Royals and Royals. Weger stepped in front, knocked it down. That's gonna be a third and long, third and 22 for the Royals with 153 remaining in, in the first half. Now I'm wondering if Royalton will run up run a run play and make Howard Lake burn one of their timeouts. The, the clock has stopped on an incomplete pass. So on third and long, I'm wondering if Royalton will call a run play and force the Lakers to burn a timeout. There's a handoff up the middle. Ah, too much, too much up the middle, but he's brought down short of the first down. Carlson with the carry up the middle. Clock is still rolling. That's gonna bring up fourth. That was a third down play, sorry. That's gonna bring up fourth and seven. Clock is still rolling with 1.30 and rolling on the clock. Both teams do have two timeouts each. We'll see what Royalton does here. Kind of burning the clock, taking their time, burning the clock here. Minute 10 left in the first half and rolling. They might be they might be letting the play clock run down and Royalton will burn a timeout. So they're letting the clock roll down. And then Royalton's coach will take a timeout with about a minute left here in the first half. So that leaves Royalton on a fourth and seven from the 50 yard line and they only have, they have one timeout remaining. Pretty good strategy there by uh, Royalton's coach. Run that clock down and then burn a timeout because of Royalton does not pick up a first down, stops the clock, and Lakers will take over possession with two timeouts remaining. Lakers interior lineman got to do a better job there. We got gave up too many yards on that run play, that last run play to Carlson. Broke it nicely right down the middle. Nice job by Royalton Royals offensive lineman too. Giving Carlson a nice hole. As Royalton picked up a nice gain on that run play. Hopefully the Lakers can come out and put a stop to the Royals drive here. Seems like a pretty long time out here. Royalton hustling out right to the ball from the sideline with the play. They come out with three receivers right, one left. Snap, rolled back, looking to his right, looking in the middle. Here comes a little pressure to the right, and that's gonna be tipped out of bounds. Intended receiver was Ellerbush, but just out of his reach. That, was enough, that would have been enough for a first down, but just out of the reach. So Lakers will take over on the 50 yard line with 53.5 seconds and two, re, two timeouts remaining. And remember the clock is stopped on first downs to move the chains. So now I'd expect the Lakers to be running some pass plays here. Royalton has three have three guys deep. Kind of playing a little prevent defense. Three linemen for defensively for the Royalton Royals. Mallet keeps it. He's running up the middle. He's gonna be close. Finally dragged down. He's gonna be just short of a first down, so that's gonna keep the clock rolling. Lakers are gonna burn a timeout right here. Lakers burn their second timeout, so they'll have one remaining. Timeout Lakers. Nice job by Malik. Almost picked up the first down, but about a yard short. Would have been 
nice if you would have picked up that first. I would have stopped the clock so uh, they could have set up the chains. They could have went to a little bit of a hurry up here. So like, they do have one timeout remaining. Or excuse me. Yeah, it should be one timeout remaining. Coach Anderson have the Lakers come on to do here on second and short. come right out with three receivers to the right in a shotgun formation, one receiver left. Here's a snap. Looks like a handoff to Bose, trying to go outside. Now he cuts it up and goes up the middle. That's gonna be a first down. That should be with a push. That should be enough for the first down. They stop the clock. They're gonna give, give the Lakers the first down. And the Lakers will go first down for the Lakers. So the Lakers come right out in the hurry up offense. 37. Clock doesn't start until the refs whistle. Now the clock rolls. Lakers on the 39, there's a snap. Malik rolling to his left, sets up the throw. Looking down the middle, tipped and incomplete. So that'll stop the clock here. That'll bring up second down and 10 from the 39 yard line with just over 27 seconds left before halftime. If the Lakers are short of the first down, they might have to burn that first or their last time out. Otherwise, they have to try to go for 10 yards at least to try to get that first down and stop that clock a little bit and then hurry back up to the line. We'll see what the Lakers here do offensively. Looks like a shotgun formation. Three receivers left, one right. Bows to the right of Malik in the shotgun formation. There's going to be a Malik up the middle with the Faked it to Bowes. Now you got to burn it. Lakers got to burn a timeout. They got to burn their last timeout here with just over 20 seconds. So Lakers burn their last timeout. Now they definitely got to get first downs to stop the clock. Kind of hoping, I was hoping they would have gone, gone for the first down there just to preserve that last timeout they had. That's going to bring up about a third down and five from the 35 for the Lakers. sideline with the play. Looks like they're in shotgun formation. Three receivers right, one left. Bows to the left of Malik. Snap. Hand off to Bose. Bose is going to throw it. Oh! He kept it. Now he's got to get the first down. Or get out of bounds. There's a whistle. Out of bounds. Did he? Where's the marker? Just shy of the first down, or did he get enough? Looks like they're calling it just short of the first down. So it's going to be fourth and short with 11.5 left in the first half here. Spread formation here for the Lakers. Malik with an empty backfield. He's looking to throw down the middle. He's got time and he throws it. Oh, and it gets tipped down. Incomplete pass. So that's going to be first down for the Royals. We'll take over with 5.3 left on the turnover on downs.
Royalton just takes a knee to go into the half. Royalton, zero. Your Harvard Lake Riverly Winstead Lakers, seven. KR. Number 12, Gavin Dorison. Has a nice first half here for the Lakers as they go into the half up seven to nothing. Number 14, Jeremiah Dusky. And that are that is the first points, first points given up by the Royalton Royals this season. Royalton does step into tonight's game. Winning their first two games of the year as the Royalton Royals did win their first game against Minnewaska. They won 46 to nothing. And then their second game was a win against the Holdingford Huskers, 22 to nothing. So those seven points that the Lakers have scored are the first that Royalton gave, that Royalton gave up this season. As I said, Lakers stepping into tonight's game were 0-2. Their first game of the season was a 6-15 loss to Morris area. In game number two, it was a 34-62 loss at Painesville. And in that Painesville game, the halftime score was 36-28, a high-scoring affair with not much defense from either side. And then Painesville in the second half outscored the Lakers 26 to 6 to go away with that 62-34 victory. So going off of last week's last week's score just by going off the score and looking at tonight's score at half that uh, Lakers defense has really stepped up and has played well here against Royalton. I'm going to quit. I got a few stats here for the Lakers. Uh, some rushing stats. Um, the Lakers, if you have watched a few of the games, the Lakers do like to run the ball quite a bit. And I'm actually pleased with the mix, uh, the nice job mixing it up tonight with the pass and the rush. But uh, so far, leaders for rushing leaders for the Lakers this year, Colin Bowes has 42 attempts with 358 yards and six TDs. Number two is Mitchell Malik. He has 21 attempts and 90 yards. And third is Colton Long with 20 attempts and 65 yards. Now that was coming into tonight's game, not including the first half. I do want to share with you here the weekly activity schedule next week for your Howard Lake Waverly Winstead Lakers. Monday, September 20th. Couple events here for the Lakers. Cross country is at Piers. JV football is at Royalton. C squad football is at Royalton. And varsity soccer is at Hutch. Tuesday, September 21st, you can join us on KLKR for the Lady Lakers volleyball as they host the Norwood Young America volleyball team. That's Tuesday, September 21st, starting at 7. So make sure to join us here on KLKR for some Lady Lakers volleyball. 
other events going on Tuesday, September 21st. It looks like 7th and 8th grade volleyball at Hutch and 7th and 8th grade football at New London Spicer. On Thursday, September 23rd, volleyball is at Litchfield. 7th and 8th grade football is at Glencoe Silver Lake. 7th and 8th grade volleyball is volleyball is home versus Annandale. And varsity soccer is at Rockford versus Delano. And Friday, September 24th, your Howard Lake Waverly Winstead Laker football team will travel to do battle with the Holdingford Huskers. That's at Holdingford. Game time is 7 o'clock. And the varsity cross country on Friday, September 24th is at the U of M for an event. So those, that is your weekly activity schedule. Make sure to join us though again on Tuesday here on KLKR for some Lady, Lady Lakers volleyball action. Your 2021 homecoming court for the Lakers. For the guys, Garrett Bechtold, Drew Baru, Isaac Buss, Brandon Katura, Preston Hegelson, and Caleb Card. The ladies, Lily Bobrowski, Brianna Houston, Taylor Kriesel, Emma Matheson, Lydia Montgomery, and Brooke Oland. That's your 2021 Howard Lake Waverly Winstead homecoming court. I'll give you an upcoming schedule here for both teams. Royalton's upcoming schedule, Friday, September 24th, they host Sox Center. Friday, October 1st, they are at Painesville. Friday, October 8th, they host the Eden Valley Watkins Eagles. Their last two games of the regular season for Royalton, Friday, October 15th, they host the Rockford Rocket, Rockets. And the last game of the regular season for Royalton is Wednesday, October 20th, as they travel to Piers to battle the Pioneers. The schedule for your Howard Lake Waverly Winstead the Lakers. Friday, September 24th, they are at Holdingford. Friday, October 1st, they travel to do battle with the Eden Valley Watkins Eagles. And then Friday, October 8th, they host Sox Center. Friday, October 15th, host Minnewaska. And the Lakers finish up the regular season on Wednesday, October 20th at the Rockford Rockets. Like I've said a couple times, I was really impressed with some of the plays that the Lakers offensively are playing, uh, doing, they're doing a nice job this week with balancing run, the run with the pass, mixing it up and really, really keeping Royalton on their toes defensively. It'll be interesting to see what, what Royalton does offensively themselves coming out to start the second half. Royalton also does try to, you know, balance it off with run plays and pass plays, but the Lakers defense has done a great job tonight as at halftime the Lakers are up seven to nothing. I'll try to quickly give you the interview I did with Coach Anderson here. I uh, shared it before the game, but I'll try and share it here at halftime. 
first thing I asked Coach Anderson, what are some things that you thought went well in last week's game? We ex executed overall, overall very well on, def on offense. We also only had one penalty, which was a huge improvement from last week. Our outside run game was drastically improved from a week ago. He said they did a great job of running counters off of those, off of those plays. And we were also better in the special teams department. Next question I asked, what are some things that may need improvement? He said, first thing he said was defensively. We need all 11 guys doing their assignment. When we are disciplined, disciplined and execute the, sheet, the scheme that is called, we get stops and turnovers. When we don't, we give up points. Our point after two point game also needs to be better. We are currently two for seven and at the moment uh, going for two. He said this week we want to try and get some PATs and they did a nice job by Caleb Bowes kicking the PAT for the Lakers. Next question I asked, what are you expecting from Royalton? He said they are similar to us. Their quarterback can run and their main running back is big and athletic and that's Carlson. He did it. Carlson, he did a really really good job in the first half. And he said, uh, Coach Anderson said defensively, they have a few guys that we will need to game plan around. They have some good size in a few spots. I then asked him what kind of defensive front he's going to run. And he said they're going to mix it up and run a three-man, four-man, and five-man front. And that's exactly what they did. I noticed the Lakers playing exactly that, going from a three, a four, and a five-man front, depending on the situation. I then asked Coach Anderson, what are some expectations you have from your team when it comes to game day? He wants to win the turnover battle. When we have to punt then, he said, flip the field position. Bend but don't break when we are in the red zone on defense. And he said, I expect us to run the ball well, but also use the play action game when the down in the distance is right. And he said, defensively, we'll be much more disciplined, fly to the football, and take advantage of fumbles and tip balls in the passing game. And that's exactly what he did. That's exactly what the Lakers did here in the second half, as I was expecting the Royals to come out being a kind of a high-scoring offense with some of the scores they put up in previous games. Their first game, I believe they scored, yes, their first game they scored 46. In their second game, they scored 22. So the Lakers defense has done a great job shutting out the Royalton Royals. The halftime was brought to you by KLKR. And that wraps up the halftime show. Kickoff for the second half coming soon.
Lakers will be kicking off to start the second half. Stephen Heber kicking off for the Lakers. Heber to start the second half. Line drive, low line drive. Got tipped. Royalton falls on top. Royalton will take over at about the 35 yard line. See if we notice any changes here coming from the Royals uh, offensively. Now they come out with the I formation, receivers on each side. Slot to the right. Takes a snap, handoff to the first guy through. Keeper up the middle. Oh, called the quarterback with the keeper. Quarterback kept it. Devner bowls with the stop for the Lakers. Bring up second down for the Royals. Nice little gain by the quarterback. Years check with the keeper up the middle. Give him about three, that'll bring up second down and seven. Lakers in a five-man front defensively. High formation, handoff, Carlson. That's gonna be hit, hit in the backfield. Might've got, might've got back to the line of scrimmage. Long with the stop for the Lakers. Colton Long with the stop for the Lakers. Third and seven. Nice job by the Lakers defense. Looks like the Lakers are staying in that five-man front defensively. I formation coming for Royalton. Here, Jack takes a snap. Hand off to the counter. Oh, broke the contain, but he might be a little short. The runner might be a little short. That's going to bring up fourth down. Fourth and we'll call it two. It looks like Royalton is gonna go for it. They come out in the I formation. Receiver to each side. Snap, handoff, Carlson looking to the right. He is hit in the back, and that's gonna be short, short of the first down. Lakers defense does a great job. Forces the turnover on downs. Lakers take over possession with great starting field possession. They're on 44 yard line. Big stop by the Lakers defense. So we'll call it first and 10 from about the 44 and a half yard line. Lakers getting the play call on the sideline, hustling out right to the ball. Coming out in the I formation. Malik under center takes a snap, pitches out to Bose on the right side, looking out. Oh, we can't get outside. There's a flag on the play. That's going to be a loss. And there's a flag on the play. We'll see what the refs call here. I'm going to guess maybe a hold. Hold coming here on the Lakers is my guess. Let's see what the refs call here. Yeah, it looks like it. Hold against the Lakers, back them up. Holding against the Lakers. Oh. 
class of 10. Bring up first and 20 now. From about the 44 and a half. Lakers in the shotgun. Malik takes it. Hand off. Up the middle. We're gonna get a short little gain, maybe about three there. Bose gets it and goes up the middle for about three. Call it 18, second and 18 here coming for the Lakers from 47 yard line. Lakers break the huddle. Coming out in the, looks like the shotgun formation. Two receivers left, one right. Snap. Malik with the keeper trying to go to the right. Puts his head down. He's gonna pick up a short gain of uh, two, maybe three, two, I would call it two here. Third and long coming here for the Lakers. Malik coming to the sideline to get the play call. From Coach Anderson. Let's see what the Lakers do here with on third down and long. Let's see if they try to throw something downfield, try to pick up that first down. Eight minutes remaining here left in the third quarter. Malik and shotgun formation. Two receivers left, one right. Fake handoff, looking to his right. He's got Bose, oh! Just through the hands of Colin Bose, breaking down the middle of the field. Just missed it. That's gonna be fourth and 16 here for the Lakers. I think the punt unit will be coming out. Big stop for Royalton. Van Nurden back for the Royals. Snap and punt away from Long. Nice spiral, kick to the right side. Beautiful, oh, stay out of the end zone. Stay. Yeah, beautiful. Nice job, he picked it up and he's gonna be inside the five. He's gonna be close to the goal line. What a huge punt from Colton Long and nice job defensively for the Lakers to get down there and bring him down just, just outside of the goal line. They're going to call it the one yard line. One yard line of the Royals. Wow. Nice spiral punt by Colton Long, and that thing spun down all the way down to the one yard line. Royals tried picking it up, but the defense was there to bring them down. So you got a tough road ahead for the Royals here. First and 10 from the one yard line. Cornerbacks playing far off the receivers. Royalton takes a snap. Up the middle, Carlson, it looks like, fighting through the line. He picks up a couple. Give Carlson three, that's gonna bring up second down and seven. Cornerbacks for the Lakers are playing a good 10 yards back. I'm surprised that the Royalty doesn't try a quick pass to one of the receivers. Handoff, trying to go up the middle. He's got, got a hole. He's going to be close to a first down, just a little shy. We'll see what the refs call here. Those interior, interior linemen for the Lakers got to toughen up, not let him get so much. Got, gave up about six yards there. That's going to bring up third down and one for the Royals. Royals come out with three receivers right, one left. Takes a snap, looking to go up the middle. That's stuffed in the backfield. Still trying to fight forward. That's gonna be that, that's gonna be close to a first down. Nice job by the running back for the Royals to fight 
lean and fall forward for the first down. Lakers had him in the backfield. Just couldn't wrap him up and bring him down. So falling forward from Royalton's running back gets the first down. So that's gonna be first and 10 here from the 11 yard line now with six minutes and counting in the third quarter. Lakers come out with a four man front defensively. Bringing some, bringing some pressure. There's a pass looking deep down the middle. Short is intercepted. Intercepted by the Lakers and finally brought down. Mitchell Malik with the interception for the Lakers defensively as the Royalton Royals quarterback threw just a little bit short and Malik was able to pull it in for the INT. So Lakers take over with great field possession again here at the 45 yard line. Big play for the Lakers defense. That brings up first and 10 here from the 45 for the Lakers. I formation. Malik under, under center. Hand off, goes up the middle, trying to go to the right. He breaks to his right, trying to round it off. He's got the first down, he's got more. Trying to break down the sideline, finally forced out of bounds. What a nice run by Bose. Nice hole, nice job offensive lineman. Giving Bose a hole and then Bose using his speed to break out trying to hit the edge on the right side. Getting the sideline, picking up a big gain, first down. That's gonna put the Lakers at the 25 yard line. First and 10 from the 25. I formation from Bose. I formation from Alex, sorry. Pitch to Bose on the left now. Oh, he's getting, oh, we got a flag coming. They're running to the left and it looks like they're gonna get called for a flag on the right. Flag on the flag. Somebody on the right side of the line is gonna get called for a hold on the Lakers. It's not, Lakers. it's not good to see. Coaches can't be happy with that when you're going to the left but you're holding on the right side. That right side's not even part of the play but it's causing you 10 yards. Backing them up, 10 yards. Lakers do gotta eliminate those small errors. First half, we had uh, Malik with a run touchdown and got called back with a hold. Lakers offensive line got to do a little bit, little, little bit better job when it comes to the, the penalties. They're doing a great job uh, creating holds for guys, but they just got to clean it up a little bit, eliminate those holds in the flag. I formation coming, Malik hand off the bows up the middle. He's going to be hit, wrapped up, and brought down with a very short gain. That's going to bring up second down and long. Second and real long here, call it second and 23. From the 37. Malik coming in, calling the play to the huddle. Shotgun formation, long in the backfield. Snap, fakes a hand off the long, looking down the middle, he's got balls. Cuts it into the middle. He's still on his feet. He's breaking it. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the goal line. Inside the five yard line. Call it about the two, two and a half yard line by Bose. Nice job by Malik. Connecting with Bose. Bose catching it and running into the middle. Picking up some more yards after the catch. Some yak yards right there for Bose. Yards after the catch. That's going to bring up first and goal here from the third yard line, from the three yard line. Shock information, Malik with the keeper running up the middle, and he's getting pushed, and he's pushed into the end zone, putting six on the board for your Hollywood Lake Liberty Winstead Lakers. Malik with the keeper, and he got some help from the running back coming up, running backs coming up behind him. Pushing him forward, crossing the line. 
Lakers up 13 nothing. Looking to kick the PAT. Snaps up, kick, oh, deflected. And that's gonna be no good. So with the miss, with the blocked extra point, that's gonna be Lakers up 13. Royalton Royals, zero. Somebody late to the party on the kickoff team. Haber's gonna be setting up for the kickoff. So Lakers up 13 nothing with 3.39 left in the third quarter. Big drive by the Lakers, getting, up, getting them up by 13. Kickoff coming from Heber. Boots it down the middle. Oh, now it's gonna be rolling to the side. Finally picked up on the 25 yard line. He's got some room down the right sideline. Skips his way past the 40, down to about the 41, 42 yard line. Nice retur return by Royalton. So Royalton will take over at the 42 yard line. Nice little return by Royalton. Breaking some tackles down the right sideline. Royalton comes out with the eye formation receiver to each side. Snap, handoff, first guy through. And he's wrapped up and team tackle brought down. Now we got a flag. There's a team tackle. flag. It's going to be on the Lakers. I'm going to see what they're calling here. Personal foul on the Lakers. Face mask. Lakers defensively got to keep their hands down anyways. Can't be tackling up, up high. Keep them down. They have three guys there. No need to tackle up high. I think the ref's saying he's got up underneath the chin. Royalton hustling down. Big, pen big penalty on the Lakers. No need for that. We got to stop shooting ourselves in the foot. Royalton coming out with bunch set. Three receivers to the right. Keep it to the left. Option to the left. Pitches it to Carlson. Carlson cuts inside. He's going to be close to nine yard gain. Weger gets the stop for the Lakers. Nice little play. I like that. Uh, Royals run a bunch set with three receivers on the right side and then they run the option to the left side so they're trying to get their the defense to overload the one one side and then run opposites opposite of that side uh, call it an eight yard game that's going to bring up second down and two eye formation coming from the royals snap second guy carlson up the middle he's got too much big gain there enough for a first down got about six seven yards on the game dusky with the tackle for the lakers looks like the lakers are coming out with a looks like a five-man front defensive defensively looks like a five three run in here for the lakers snap handoff second guy carlson right up the middle those interior linemen got to shed their block and get a piece of the Carlson running up the middle. Got about five yards on that game. Call it a gain of six. Brings up second and four for the Royals. Six yard gain. Second down and four coming for the Royals with 140 and counting left in the third quarter. Big drive for Royalton. They got to put six on the board themselves. Get back into this game. I formation. Fumble snap, balls on the ground, quarterback. Here's check, falls back on top of it. 
to keep possession. That's going to bring up third and four. Royals, if they don't get it here, they're definitely going to be going for it on fourth. Being down two scores. Royals in I formation. Two receivers on the right, one to the left. Snap. Fakes the pitch to the outside. He's going to run it up to the right. Looks like he's going to be... Is he a little short? Did he get it? Oh, we're... Stop the clock. Gilbert made the tackle for the Lakers. Looks like we're going to be measuring. Nope, they're calling, giving him a first down. Be for, uh, first down. Clock starts now, so. First and 10 from the 24, 30 seconds and counting in the third quarter. Royals driving here. This possession started at the goal line, basically, for, of the Royals here. They did a great job getting downfield. I formation coming for the Royals. A little option. He gets wrapped up and brought down before before he can get rid of it. Weird brew with the stop for the Lakers. Weigert in there. Nice job racking, rap, wrapping up the quarterback before he could pitch to Carlson on the option. That's how the third quarter is going to come to an end. So the Lakers will go into the fourth quarter with a 13 to nothing lead. come out second down and 14 to start the fourth quarter down 13 nothing big possession here for Royalton I formation one receiver to the left one to the right snap looking for an option pitches it to the right Carlson on the right he's gonna he's gonna slide through and get about two maybe three Colin Bowes with the tackle for the Lakers. Nice job keeping that edge. Bowes coming from an, Bowes coming from the linebacker position there, containing that running back and not letting them get to the outside. So that's going to bring third, and we'll call it 11 from the 17-yard line. Snap, handoff for our second guy through Carlson. He slips through a tackle. He's going to pick up about five. Nice little game there by Carlson. Slipping through some tackles. That's going to bring up fourth down, but Royalton will be going for it here. Call it about fourth and six from the 17 yard line. Big stop defense, big stop defense. Two receivers left, one to the right for Royalton. Snap, drop back, looking for the pass. Looking to the left, picked off! Intercepted by the Lakers! Busting it down to the right side, down the right side, and Colin Bowes with the pick, and he is forced out of bounds at about the 30 yard line. Colin Bowes steps in front of the pass for the INT. Lakers take over. Big defensive stand there for the Lakers. Huge. Keeping Royalton off the board. 
Royalton who came in tonight but basically averaging 30 points a game. This Laker defense stepping up, holding them, shutting them out so far. Lakers come out offensively with I formation, Malik under center. Takes a snap, he's looking for Bose up the middle. Fight, Bose trying to fight his way for a couple. Call it about a four yard gain for Colin Bose. That'll bring up a second and six. for the Lakers here. 10 minutes and counting left in the game with the Lakers up 13 to nothing. High formation, Malik under center. Snap, first guy, nope, Malik keeps it. Little play action, Malik's gonna keep it. He's in a game. He's gonna gain about three yards there with, on the keeper. It's gonna bring up third down. Third and three for the Lakers coming. Russell here, we got an injure, in, injure timeout. Looks like one of the Royalton players cramped up. So, blow the whistle, stop the clock. Trainer comes out. See what the Lakers, see what Coach Anderson does here on third down and three. Like I said, I was, I'm very surprised by the score. Um, the Royals coming in averaging, you know, what they score 46 the first game, um, 46 to nothing the first game, in their first game in the second game beating Holy, Holingford 22 to nothing. So not only were they putting up points, but they're also shutting out the other teams. And Lakers are up 13 to nothing here. Jake Anderson for Royalton, cramping up a little bit. He comes off the comes off the field, jogging it off, walking it off the cramp. So Lakers coming up, third down and three, 9:30 and counting on the on the clock. Malik under center, readjust back underneath center. Takes a snap, handoff to Long. First guy through. He's gonna be, Long's, Colton Long's gonna be just short of the first down. That's gonna bring up fourth down. That's gonna bring up fourth and short. See what the Lakers do here. Are they gonna try and go for it on fourth and short? Or with the lead, are you gonna punt it away and play it safe? Looks like they're gonna be going for it here. Malik getting the call from the sideline. Brings the play into the huddle. Well, we've seen it a couple times where Malik takes a snap and keeps it. So we'll see if they do it again. Shotgun formation. Oh, bad snap. And fumbled around and and that Royalton's gonna fall on it. Yep, that's what you do when you go from the shotgun. Fourth and short. Gotta be gotta be careful. That's why I'm very, I'm very. I'm very nervous running a shotgun formation on a fourth and short. It worked twice earlier in the game, but this time we ran it and a rough snap. So Royalton will take over with great field possession starting on the 25. That's... Royals come out with a shotgun formation, or excuse me, I formation. Pitch to the keeper here, Carlson on the right side. He's trying to break. He gets on the right sideline. He's still inside. He got all the way. He got a first down and more as he got inside the 10 yard line. Lakers defense needs to clamp down. Don't let the Royals punch one in here quickly. Don't want that momentum now to swing. Royals hustling up, I formation. Snap, second guy through, Carlson up the middle. He falls forward, he's got a nice little gain out of that. Bowes with the tackle, Colin Bowes with the tackle. Second and goal, goal and call it from both the five yard line. I 
formation. Snap. Pitch to, ooh. Is that a fump? No, Carlson was able to adjust and fall on it. Tough play there from the Royals. Looks like a little miscommunication maybe between quarterback and running back. Dusky gets in the backfield and brings him down. That's going to bring up third down and nine. Third and goal from the nine. coming again from the Royals. Snap, pitch to the right, trying to get outside to the right. He goes right, then comes in a little bit. He's gonna be, what's the call, just short, just short of the goal line? Call it fourth down and goal from the one yard line. Huge play here for the Royals. Down 13 nothing with 6.45 left in the game and counting. Coming in the I formation again. Need some interior lineman pressure here. Pitch to the left this time. Carlson finds some room, finds some room and he sneaks his way in. That's gonna put six on the board for the Royals. Now does Royalton does Royalton kick the extra point or are they going for two? Looks like, looks like quarterback staying in, maybe going for two here. Big stop right here, defense. Big stop for the Lakers defense right here. Don't let them get this two. It's like a bunch formation to the right. Now this is where they run the little option before to the left. But no, he rolls, keeps it, rolls. No, he fell down. That's lost him down. Quarterback slipped and went down, so that's gonna be turnover. No good on the two point. Keeps the score to thir at 13-6. Six. six minutes and 30 seconds left in the game. Real nice to see Lakers offensively put a nice time-consuming drive together. Eliminate those flags, eliminate the hold. Don't shoot ourselves in the foot, don't make mistakes. Just keep that clock running. Both teams do have three timeouts remaining. But offensively, you just want to keep that clock rolling. Looks like Heater and Bose are back deep for the Lakers. I wouldn't be surprised to see if the Royals try a little squib. Maybe a little onside here. Front, front line guys for the Lakers got to be on their toes. Watch, watch the onside. Nope, he kicks it deep. That's going to be... Get on it! Lakers got to get on it! That's going to stay Lakers ball. Lakers will, were a little hesitant to get on top of that ball. So we'll see what the Lakers do here on first and 10 from the 24. Up 13, 6, 6.30 left in the game. High formation, Malik under center. Takes a snap, looks like he's gonna keep it. Little option to the left, he keeps it. He gets dropped at about the line. Might be a short, short loss here for the Lakers. Call it second down and 11. Take your time, no need to rush. Keep running that clock. 
That's why I do expect the Lakers to come out and run some run plays. Keep that clock running, make uh, the Royals burn some timeouts. Eye formation for the Lakers. Snap, hand off the bows. He's trying to break it out to the right. Oh, can't hit the edge, nice pursue by the Royals. Bowes was forced out of Bo Bo He's got to stay in bounds. He's got to keep the clock running. Don't go out of bounds. Bush. Third and eight coming here for the Lakers. Got to keep that clock running. Stayed down in bounds. Keep the clock running. 534 here in the game. Third and eight for the Lakers. Shotgun formation for Malik. Looks like Bose in the backfield. Three to the left. Play action, Malik with the keeper. He's gonna be brought down. That's gonna be just short. Short of the first, so that's gonna bring fourth down. Be about fourth and three coming. Looks like the punt team is gonna come out on fourth down. On fourth and three. Colton Long back to punt. Let's have a clean snap. Colton Long gets it and he punts it away. Nice high punt, a little bit short, but nice height. Let it roll, let, it, let the clock run, don't touch it. Let that clock roll. No need to touch it. So the Royals will take over here with 4.42 left in the game. It'll be first and 10 from about the 40. Royals down seven. I formation coming from the Royals. Looks like the Lakers defense kind of packing it in. Running back is brought down after a short game. Might have got three there. Run straight ahead. Bruce on the bottom of the pile. Eight to three. On the second and seven for the Royals. Hindersheed with the run. Look like for the Royals. That's going to bring up second and seven from the 42. Just over four minutes and rolling on the clock here left in the game. Snap. Looking for the pitch of Carson on the outside. There's nobody containing. He's got a lot of room. Breaking down the right side. Lakers lost their contain on the left side. Either that D end or the linebacker. Somebody's got to be there to contain that. Nice play by Royalton. Nice job by the line. First and 10 from the 38. Looks like Royalton, yeah, I formation. Snap, pitch to the left. Carlson now trying to, oh, nice. Nice run by Carlson. Shannon threw some tackles. He's gonna pick up another first down. Leo Dusky with the tackle, but Blaker, or excuse me, Royalton does, does pick up the first down. It's gonna be first and 10 from the 27 with 340 and counting left in the ball game. High formation. Snap, looks like a little pitch. Quarterback keeps it. That's too much, can't give, can't let the quarterback get that much. That's gonna be about a six yard gain. Heber and Gilbert on the stop. Got about a five, six yard gain there. Second down five, just over three minutes remaining. Royalton moving the ball well here. They're on the 22 yard line. High formation. Snap, looking for the pitch again. He's got outside. Force, did he get out of bounds? Carlson, 
Got a few yards. I don't know if he did. He get out of bounds. Yep. Stop the clock. No. Nope. Must have been tackled in bounds. Now, now the refs are saying stop the clock. So it took a while for the refs to signal that the guy got out of bounds, that the running, running back got out of bounds. So now we got some communication, trying to get some something on the clock figured out here. The ref didn't signal out of bounds. They didn't signal, so. So it was out of bounds. They put 2.53 on the clock. That's gonna be third and two from about the 19. I formation coming from the Royals. Snap, pitch to the right, going to the right. Try to go outside, now go in. Now they're fighting. That's gonna be sh short of the first down. That's, so that's gonna bring forth bring up fourth down. 2.40 and counting on the clock. Big stop here for the Lakers. This put can be the game right here if they can stop them. 4th and 2, 2.25 and rolling on the game clock. Royals hustling up to the line. Eye formation on the 4th and short from the 19 yard line. Oh, somebody on the Lakers side jump. That's gonna give them a first, give the Royals a first down. <sighs> Defensive line gotta play that line with their ears closed. Don't listen to the quarterback, watch the ball. That'll be first and 10 now from the 19 for the Royals. Defense alignment, close your ears, play that defense line with your eyes only. Starting the clock here, 210 and rolling. First and 10 from the 14 yard line, eye formation. Snap, handoff, first guy through. He's gonna get a nice little gain here. That's gonna be about a four or five yard gain. Our interior lineman giving up too much on that first down. We'll call it a gain of four, second down and six. I formation for Royalton. Snap the ball, handoff second guy. Carlson up the middle. He falls forward. That's gonna be that's gonna be a first down. That's gonna be a first down. Right basically on the two-yard line, I think they're gonna call it. Nice job by Carlson falling forward. 130 on the clock. Interior lineman gotta settle down here, tighten it up. First and goal from about the two. Quarterback keeper maybe? Nope, he's gonna hand it to Carlson. He's gonna fall forward for a touchdown. Put six on the board. Carlson falls forward. Oh, we got a flag on it. Maybe that's gonna be on Royalton. We'll check it out with the rest of Colin. Looks like he's pointing Royalton's way. That's gonna take the six off if it's on the Royalton Royals. That's Yes, that's on the Royals. I didn't see what the call was, let's see. Oh, they're calling it after. So it's after the, after the TD, so the points stay on the board. But now that is gonna affect the uh, two point try, that's gonna push them back even further. Personal foul coming on the on the Royals after the after the touchdown. So the points, the six six stays on the board board for the Royals. So the Royals are still down one. But now that brings the ooh, that's a big bad foul on the Royals. Oofta, that's tough. That coach ain't happy with that call, but I didn't see the play. We'll see where the down is, or where the ball is, the line of scrimmage. Oh, 
calling at about, what is that, about the 27 yard line? Re ref having a conversation with the stripes here, trying to figure out what the call was. He can't be happy with the call. to the right, drops back the pass, getting some pressure, gets away from the pressure, he's looking to the right, he's got a receiver, the receiver pulls it in and counts it, two, two points, two points, so the Royals take a one point lead. Wow, you talk a tourney of events in the last couple minutes here. How deflating for the Lakers. Nice job by the quarterback to roll to his right, get away from the Lakers pressure and found a receiver sliding down the right side. Now the Lakers are down 13 to 14 with 114 remaining in the game. Lakers do have all three timeouts remaining. Wow. Wow. Bose and Heber back to receive. See what the Lakers can do. Work some, work some magic here with 114 left in the game. Down by one. Kick away. Nice deep kick. Bose is going to take it. He's up to the 20, 25. Breaks to his right. He's up to the 30. He's got some room breaking down the right sideline. He gets past the 40 yard line, right out of the bounds at about the 42 yard line. Colin Bowes with a huge return, giving them nice starting field position with 107 left in the game. Lakers down by one. the play. Lakers do have three timeouts with 107 left in the game. High formation coming here for the Lakers. Oh, we got a whistle. Timeout. Looks like Royalton takes a timeout. Coach, the, coach didn't like something defensively. And the, Royalton do, does have their defense playing deep, playing a little prevent defense. They got, they had four guys back, probably a good 15, 20 off the ball. So they're playing some prevent, trying not to let anything deep for the Lakers. I'd like to see a little screen here. On a little screen. If, if that defense is playing deep, that kind of leaves that middle open. So if you run a, maybe a little short screen, maybe a middle screen for one of your running backs, let that interior D line try to get through and then dump it to your running back in the middle. Hopefully you can catch it and pick up some yardage for us with some blockers. And if it falls incomplete, it stops the clock. Looks like the Lakers are gonna come out in the I formation. Royalton is setting up in a Three, three down linemen, defensive linemen for Royals. And they got four guys about 10 yards off. Here's a pitch to Colin Bowes on the left side. He's trying to break the edge. 
He's going to get hit after a short gain. Now the clock is rolling. We got to burn a timeout or go to a hurry up. 55 and counting on the clock here on second down and seven. Shotgun formation for Malik. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. Oh, there's a fumble on the snap. Malik picks it up, throwing it. He's trying to look to the sideline. Incomplete, got tipped down. Kateria just did a nice job of knocking that down. That was looking close, looking close to an INT there. That's going to bring up third and seven with 38.5 left. Lakers do have three timeouts, but they need to pick up a first down. Lakers spreading it out here. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. Malik in the shotgun formation. Snap. What are we doing? I don't know if I agree with that play call. Running a run. So the Lakers got to burn a timeout. That's going to bring up fourth down and seven from the 45. Lakers have two timeouts remaining. Not sure I like that play call. So we got to pick down here. This is the game right here. I feel like we're going to pick up the first down. Man, what a, what a turnaround for those Royals. Late in the game, thinking that this is going to be Lakers' game, but Royals have done a great job of punching in two touchdowns, late touchdowns, and taking the lead 14 13. So Lakers come out of the timeout. Looks like a shotgun formation. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. Goes to the left of Malik. A little prevent defense as the Royals have three guys, four guys playing. Deep, Malik. Oh, we got, what do we have here? Whistle. What's going on? Timeout, timeout Royals. Timeout Royals. Royals coach, Royals coach saw something he didn't like. Royals coach didn't like something. Kind of maybe he wanted to see the formation the Lakers had offensively and then call the defense off that. But they did have, Royals did have four guys deep playing a little prevent. Trying to take away that first down. The fourth and seven coming for the Lakers from the 45. The Royals do have some guys. They got, they're having four guys playing pretty deep. About over 10, 15 yards off the ball, playing some prevent. And then they got two more guys playing about seven, eight yards. Lakers in the shotgun formation. Looks like two receivers left, two receivers right. One running back. Looks like Long's in the backfield behind Malik on this fourth and seven. Snap, Malik looking to his right, looking in the middle. Now he's got some pressure, rolls to his left. He's looking, he gets hit and dropped. That's gonna be ball game, folks. Royalton will take over possession. Wow. Wow. Not sure what to say here, folks, as the Lakers kind of kind of gave this one away here, making some mistakes late in the game, having to, uh, going for the fourth, uh, fourth down, having the fumbled snap, having uh, uh, offsides by your defense, 
Royalton's lining up for the knee here. That's how the game's gonna come to an end here. As the Royalton Royals sneak away here with a late victory, punching some big touchdowns late in the game. As Royal Royalton goes to 3-0, and and the Lakers, Lakers fall to 0 oh and 3. Hey, thanks for tuning in tonight. Make sure you tune in Tuesday, the 21st at 7 p.m. as the varsity volleyball team takes on Norwood Young America. For KLKR Sports, I'm Dan Herda. Have a good night.